What's up, everybody? For the win, it's here. You know what it is. And thank you all very much for tuning in. So, it is January 30th. It is a Tuesday. And I wake up. And, I mean, I'm like, what? I know we got a Q&A today. But I didn't know Battle for Azeroth pre-orders were going to be coming, fam. So, yes. This video, this episode is all about the World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth pre-orders. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, you can pre-order, starting today, the Standard Edition $49.99 and the Digital Deluxe Edition for $69.99. The pre-purchase for the um, Collector's Edition, uh, the Retail Collector's Edition, where you actually get it in the box and all the other side goodies, um, we will be showcasing that in another video um, because I don't have any information on that just yet. But the price for the Standard Edition is $50.00. While the Digital Deluxe Edition, where you get all the in-game goodies, is $70. So, for Battle of Azeroth, declare your allegiance. Azeroth paid a terrible price to end the apocalyptic march of the Legion's Crusade. But even as the world wounds are tended, it is the shattered trust between the Alliance and the Horde that may prove the hardest to mend in Battle for Azeroth. The fall of the Burning Legion sets off a series of disastrous incidents that reignites the conflict at the heart of the Warcraft saga. As a new age of warfare begins, Azeroth's heroes must set out on a journey to recruit new allies, race to claim the world's mightiest resources, and fight on several fronts to determine whether the Horde or the Alliance will lead Azeroth into its uncertain future. So, pre purchase battle for Azeroth will be released on or before September 21st of 2018, most likely before because they've said during the summer probably. Um, basically, pre-purchasing of World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth makes available the quest lines which enable players to access the High Mountain Torn, Lightforge, Draenei, Nightborn, and Void Elves. The four allied races that are going to be coming with Battle for Azeroth are now available once you have pre-ordered for those quest lines in order to access them and actually play them. To unlock allied uh, races quest lines, players must have a level 110 character and have met specific questing and reputation requirements on the factions that each allied race is aligned with. And I will be doing um, allied race videos, so stay tuned for that if you were interested in more videos on what the requirements are at the leveling and all that stuff. Digital deluxe items will be available on or before the release date of the game. Most digital deluxe items are available already, and we will be doing uh, some videos and showcasing to you guys what those are. Internet connection, all that cool stuff, requires World of Warcraft Legion, all of that cool stuff um, needs to be put into place in order for you guys to go ahead and use this uh, expansion upgrade to begin with. So, like I said, you're going to be given early access to allied races. So the pre-purchase of Battle of Azeroth, begin your quest to recruit four new playable allied races. Heroes of the Horde can enlist the High Mountain Torn and Nightborn, and the Champions of the Alliance can add the Lightforge, Draenei, and the Void Elves to their ranks. Stay tuned for some videos on those. Explore two fabled kingdoms. As a champion of the Horde, travel to the Empire of Zandalar and persuade the trolls to lend their naval might as a defender of the Alliance. Venture to the sea-faring kingdom of the Cold Taras, home of Jaina Proudmoore, and rally the inhabitants to fight for your cause. Quest through 10 new levels to the new level cap of 120, then continue to grow in power through the new world quest, raids, dungeons, and so much more. That is what's to come with Battle for Azeroth. There's also plundering new islands of the Great Sea. So the Great Sea around Kul Taras and Zendalar uh, set out the island exploration and conquer an ever-changing array of enemies, environments, and objectives. Battle in groups of three as you race against cunning rival intruders or enemy players to collect and earn each island's resources and fuel their war efforts. So there's kind of like a three-player scenario also coming with Battle for Azeroth. You'll also notice there's charge into a warfront. Fight on the enemy battlefield of a large-scale 20-player cooperative warfront to claim key strategic locations Capture resources to build your faction's forces, lead the charge as your troops lay siege to the objectives, and fight the enemy commander to claim victory in this new PvE mode inspired by classic Warcraft RTS 1, 2, and 3. 
So basically, Warfront, so I'm going to go into the details in another video as well, but they're basically 20 player raids with PvP motives. Next up, with coming into Battle for Azeroth, infuse your armor with titanic might, so seek out Azerite, an invaluable new resource that has emerged in the Legion's wake, imbue the heart of Azeroth, a legendary neck piece entrusted to you by Magni Bronzebeard, with Azerite to customize your armor with new powers and traits. Stay tuned for that. Last but not least, boost to level 110. So once you pre-order and purchase the um the expansion, enter the raging conflict between the Horde and the Alliance prepared to survive on the front lines of a vicious new war. You get an automatic boost to level 110 to any character on your account. The two things that are coming really really early access to are the early access to allied races and the early access to being able to use your boost to level 110. With all that being said, that is just the standard edition's features. Now when it comes to the digital deluxe edition, you'll be given two World of Warcraft mounts, ride proudly astride the Sea Bride Stallion mount as you fight for the alliance, or prove your allegiance to the Horde with the Gilded Ravisaur mount. No matter the battle or adventure, you'll be ready. World of Warcraft baby Tortelon pet, whether you're fiercely battling other pets or simply want to put your feet up on its sturdy shell, Pottle of the baby Tortelon pets got you covered. Next up, Overwatch goodies. Show your faction's pride in the battlefield of tomorrow with Horde and Alliance themed voice lines for Torbjorn, emotes for Tracer, Anduin, Jaina, Sylvanas, and Sourfang sprays and Cole Turan, the Zandalari player icons. Next up, a Hearthstone card back. The Azeroth is Burning card back will add fiery style to your favorite Hearthstone decks. Just be sure not to set the whole board alight. Starcraft 2 sprays. With new Horde and Alliance sprays, you can cover the map as you conquer your foes. And last but not least, for Heroes of the Storm mount, prowl into the nexus with your new primal flame saber mount with three color variants green white and toast you'll ride into the battle in style Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. Almost at 1,300 subscribers, so that is definitely a plus. Uh, like, favorite, share, comment on any videos. I will respond. And uh, live stream comments as well. I'm always responding. 
Um, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, bum rush you guys with a bunch of things uh, like links and all that stuff. You guys can do that on your own if you're interested. Uh, but thank you all very much for tuning in. Much is appreciated. Thank you.